Hello, brothers and sisters. I just got home from work and something that has been on my mind um, about folks that might be out there that might have doubted their salvation, um, you know, feeling they're being attacked on that issue. Um, it's a very simple answer. Um, I will say this, to be straight up about it. Is uh, doubting your salvation proof that you're not saved? Absolutely not. That's nonsense. Whoever said that, lose that. That ain't true at all. I'm going to tell you right now. Just because you've had doubts of your salvation, it could be a good chance you're being attacked by the devil to do that. You might even be a threat because you're seeking God. Um, you're saved and you're seeking God. There's a question you can ask yourself to, to really simplify this and clear that up real quick to know whether it's uh, actually the Holy Spirit actually telling you you're not saved or it's the devil. Ask yourself this, what are you trusting in for salvation? I'm going to give you a chance to answer that. If it's the Lord Jesus Christ and him, he died for your sins, was buried and rose again, if you're trusting in him and him alone, if you said, yes, Lord, I trust you, and you mean that from your heart, that's coming from your heart. Not how much faith, how much, how big, or if did I believe hard enough. It, it, it's, it's believing or is uh, as little as a mustard seed. Do you know how to turn on the light switch? Do you know how to do that? If you said, yes, Lord, I believe, and you're trusting, and you're sincere, and you're doing that with all your heart, all you got, as little faith as you even have, if you believe that, you're saved. Now, if you have seasons of doubt here, and you know, that happens to some folks. Not every Christian is as strong as everybody, okay? And in Corinthians, you know, look at them. Look at the guys in Galatians. You know, they were being troubled by these guys bringing in false doctrine and stuff. But Paul came in to assure them of who they are in Christ. To say they didn't have no doubt is ludicrous. Whoever's teaching, man, pick up your Bible and read it again. Come on. Anyway, everybody has some seasons of doubt. John the Baptist did. T Thomas did. I mean, I don't know where that comes from. I don't know. I, I think it's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. But, you know, do think what you want. Believe what you want. But if you trust in Christ, you, you're saying yes to the Lord, you did that, you're good to go. Quit worrying about it. You're being attacked by the devil or you're in bad teaching. You're under some bad, bad teaching, and you need to pick up your Bible and renew your mind of who you are in Christ. That's all. <laughs> There's not, Doubt is a sin, yeah, but it's like a sin of any kind of sin. We fall into all kinds of sin, and Christ died for those two. So to say you're not saved because you have doubt, you, you doubt at your salvation, that's ridiculous. Let that go. That is not true, guys. Okay? Whoever this might help. And as far as when Paul was speaking to that your faith might, you know, keep in remembrance, uh, you might be saved. If you keep in remembrance these things, there was people coming into the church uh, trying to say that the, cr the cross and all that wasn't enough. That the, it was no resurrection. All he was trying to say, if you read further down, read your Bible, he's saying, you know, your faith is not in vain because Christ did rise. Your faith is in vain. You're keeping in memory. You believe. Remembering is what he was saying is another way of saying believe, you believed. Keep, you believe this. You know, don't forget it. You know, you believed it. And, and you know, if it's, if as far as whether... You keep remembering. What about people with old timers disease? Do they remember? You know, come on. Lenny, what he was saying. Read it in context. Your Bibles, guys. I'm not trying. I'm not bitching, but it just irks me that people c can have the gall to come and say somebody doubting their salvation. Don't mean they're, that means you probably are not saved. I don't know if you're not saved. Did you, can you answer the question? Do you believe on Christ? What he did for you at the cross? That he died for your sins, was buried and rose again. Do you believe what God said? That if you believe it on me, I give you an eternal life? It's simple. 
if you say yes, you're saved. Quit doubting it. I would say stop is the best thing I say. Stop doubting. Believe. Do you believe in Buddha? No. If you're, if you're watching this, you might. But if you're believing in Buddha just in case, or you're uh, believing in flat earth just in case, or you were baptized, or I went down an aisle, I said a prayer, sinner's prayer, I repented of my sins. I can name off a lot of things. But your trust is, what are you, what are you trusting in? This is how you know whether you believe truly or not. What do you trust in? On the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation as your Savior? If you can say yes to that, you know that he died for your sins, that he is God, proven he rose again, proven he was God, that his blood cleansed you, you're counting on that, on that Jesus, that Jesus that did that for you. Is that what you're counting on? If you can say yes to that, and I believe, Lord, you can just like Mary said, yes, Lord, I believe. Can you do that? And mean it from your heart. If you can, and you want that, I'm saying it's your choice. If you want that and you believe that, God is not going to turn you away, man. He don't turn you away. If you, if you came to him, he don't turn no one away. And now if you come up down the road, you have doubt, might have been bad teaching. You just need to get in your Bible, renew your mind of who you are in Christ. That's all. Doubt don't prove whether you're saved or not. I'm sorry. Whoever said that, go read your Bible. My Bible don't say that. But anyway, he don't turn no one away. If you trust on the Lord Jesus Christ and that's what you're trusting in for salvation, you're saved whether you have seasons or doubt or not. Or any other sin. If you have another sin, well, that, well does that mean you're not saved too? You, know, you fall into some other sin. I guess you're not saved. Well, I mean, if you fall into sin, does that not cause doubt? People, people run into seasons. You know, even David said, Lord, restore unto me the, the joy of thy salvation. Do you not think he felt distant from the Lord? And the devil can come in like a flood. He can use that to cause you to doubt your salvation. He comes in like a flood. He, the enemy is to kill, steal, and destroy. But who do you think he's talking about? He's got the unbeliever. He's come to steal your joy, the believer, to make nullify you, to not be a witness of Christ. If he can do that, if he can get you to think you're not saved or have some kind of doubt, Man, you're not gonna you're not gonna be a good witness. You're not gonna be um, um, a soldier for Christ or grow. You can't even grow. You need to have assurance. God wants you to have assurance. If you have doubt, stop doubting. You're you're saved if you believe that on the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop doubting and pick up your Bible and grow. I hope this helps someone because it's very important. If you don't know what country you're fighting for, how can you fight for a country? Well. I don't know if uh, I'm from that country. How can you be a soldier of Christ if you don't know who you're believing in? I mean, why would you even want, why would you even care? Let me ask you that. Why would you even care? Why would you even be concerned for about this if you didn't believe? I'm not saying that's the proof. I'm saying that if you trust on Christ, you said yes to him and what he did for you, you're saved today. If that's all you're putting your trust in on what he did, not what you do for yourself, but what he did for you that you could not do for yourself. Anyway, guys, that bothered me. I heard a preacher say that, and that is so far from the truth, it's unbelievable. It, it pissed me off. But anyway, I love him. I mean, I don't know the man, but I would say pick up your Bible and read it again. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't get the memo, obviously. But uh, I love you, whoever you are, brother. I forgot even who he was, but I heard it. it pissed me off. I'm sorry for the language, guys, but I get irritated with teaching like that. It destroys the babes in Christ. It destroys the assurance of those that are trying to grow in Christ. And I am. I get irritated with it. I'm sorry. It hurts my heart, man. Now, come on, guys. We need to assure the babes. Uh, man, I'm even growing. But don't do that to them, man. Come on. That is not true. It's believing on the Lord Jesus Christ that saves. And he will not turn the one away, and he will not turn anyone that believes on him away. No matter what, when they have weaknesses and doubts and this, and fears, and that's what he is, is there to comfort us. That's what he gave us the Holy Spirit for. 
Anyway, I'll never leave you nor forsake you is what Jesus, the Holy Spirit, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He means that. If you're having doubt of your salvation, it's not that you're not saved. Just stop doing it. Stop doing it. Get in your word. Renew your mind of who you are in Christ today. You're positionally. You are sanctified. You're justified if you believe on Christ. Okay? Put away this foolishness. Put, us, put away that foolishness. Thought. Understand where it's coming from. It's not coming from. You don't think that thought is not coming from you. The enemy knows who what he's doing. And he's not sleeping. Okay? I hope you can put that to rest and have assurance of your salvation. Just because you have seasons of this and that, fear, doubt, just I would say stop. Believe. Be believing. Stop being unbelief, but believing. That's all. Believe God at his word, at his promises. He wants you to. You are saved. If you believe on me, on him, the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he did for you, you said yes, that you're saved today. Not how much faith, not how small your faith was. It's that what little faith you do have, you put it in him. Amen, amen. That's all I'm going to say with that. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off angry, but I, I got arced on that one. But God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus' name, amen.